Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? Oh, I forgot to play my music. What a donut. Okay, let's fix that real quick. There we go. Get some study tunes in the background. How is everyone doing? Hello, May. Hello, Wilwyn. Hello, Re. Hello, Gem Lover. Loving seeing our oh, purple Junimo. is so exciting. Pink is when you've been a member for a year, yes. Oh my god, I can't believe that's actually coming up soon. That's wild to think about. Blue, hello, welcome, and also... Um... Oh. Hey, <laughs> it's like, hello, stream. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to go straight in with the tea. Um, I'm doing good today. I'm sleepy this afternoon. I keep, I always say I'm sleepy. But like, I think, so recently, the past few days, I felt particularly like more tired, I think. And the reason for that is because I had one good day last week and I haven't felt like that in years where I actually felt awake. And I forgot what that felt like. So like, when, when I started to feel not awake again, I'm feeling it a lot more. <laughs> Martian, hello! Right, okay, tea time. Um, we are number five today. So, let's open it up. I've got a little tea calendar here. I've got my hot water at the ready. And we have a winter balance. So this one, we actually do have to guess what's in it because I haven't got a clue what that even means. You're disappearing to do work in a bit. Okie dokie, I hope you have a good productive evening. And um, yeah, let's get the tea in. Wonder of Sparkling did this before. Franny also, hello, welcome in. Found the channel recently. I'm trying to get the um the tea bag just kind of floating. Wait, let me lift it up. It's just kind of floating at the top and it's not like going in, so I'm trying to like poke it in without losing the tab. You can do this. You can do this tea bag. Okay, we're good. Right, we'll leave that to do its thing for a while. I'm trying to smell it to see if I can smell anything, but I probably smelt it way too early and it's just water at the moment. But um, yeah, the tea review will come soon. I've got the um, the nice shiny mug. May did indeed come up with a challenge for us. Um, so the rules of the challenge that we are following are in the description and also in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, feel free to join. It's linked to the description. Um, I'm gonna have to look up, I think I remember last week seeing the uh, Wonder of Sparkling mentioned. I'm gonna have to look them up because I don't think I've seen their stuff before. They primarily do Terraria, that would make sense. Um, oh and also Stardew content. They managed to finish the run by late spring year 3, I don't think I'm gonna manage it that early. Okay, also hello and Deads, hello, Deadsy, is it Deadsy or Deads? <laughs> hello, welcome in people. Um, before we get started as well, if you haven't already, I would really love if you could like the stream. It does help us out a lot if you're enjoying yourself. Um, it's a good free way to support the channel. And I think what I'm going to do is just to jump straight into um, our Stardew stuff. Oh, hello. Good game. Do you want to show up? There we go. Real good. So, I can't quite remember where we were. We're on spring 12th. So we've got the, the old egg hunt tomorrow. I'm guessing we've got some watering and stuff to do. So... Um, full disclosure, I, the reason I'm in a bit confusion mode is because obviously, so yesterday I recorded City Witch, so that's another Stardew save I've played, but also I've started another 100 days Stardew series. Um, so I'm juggling between three Stardew save files at the moment. <sighs> but obviously like at the beginning it does just take me a minute to get my bearings and once I do, we've got this. I'm going to refill this. I think that's the one thing I do like about like the days where I get to water my crops because it just gives me a minute to look around. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really loving uh, doing many, many video things at the moment. Um, I've also got another bonus video that should be, it should be live for members tonight and tomorrow it'll be public. Uh, when I say members, I mean blueberries and cranberries. They get their videos a day early. And then from, I think it's either later in the week or next week, I couldn't remember the exact day. We have the Traveler's Rest series starting, so that's super exciting also. Um, I've got a load of parsnips here and I can't remember if I was deciding to keep them for a certain reason. I think I was. I think some of them I wanted to use for food. 
Also food's a problem because I'm broke and also I can't buy much. I do have the traveling merchant though, so let's go see what she's got today. I can't remember, I don't know why I press M to look at the map. That's not how we do. The collection of 100 days is getting bigger, yes. I'm really excited about that. I think it's like, it's 100% my favorite type of content to make just because it does such a variety in like, it's a load of different things. Like it's the editing, the writing, the doing the voiceover part, the playing in like, well, for me, some of the ways are challenging. I mean, I know like a first run of Stardew Valley Expanded a year ago, nearly a year ago was maybe not as challenging for some people, but for me, because I'd not done perfection before, I had no idea what I was really doing. <laughs> Taking a tumble is rough. I don't remember going, don't recommend going limp while you fall. Oh my God, no. Don't panic. Oh, you recommend going li limp? Oh, I see what you mean. Just let your body go where it's going to go. The farm is, um, it's big, but it's got a lot of cliffs, so you don't have quite as many tiles. You're on a gravel path. Ooh, lots of sharp pointy edges. That's pain. Now I see an egg. I don't know if I need this specific egg for anything. Um, let me see where we're at with the community center. So we've got the animal bundle. The small egg is probably useless to- Can you hatch small- No, you can't build a coop. Ignore me. Can't build a coop. So that doesn't matter. Um, I'm just seeing what rooms I've got open and stuff and just kind of getting my bearings for a minute. Poppy, we're probably going to need that at some point. I probably should buy it, but that's 700 gold. Are there better things I could spend my money on? The goat cheese is way too expensive, which is a shame. I'll need eggs for cooking, this is very true. Um, maybe I should pick this up then. So I will buy the egg. It's a very expensive egg, but I will purchase it. And then... Because tomorrow is going to be... The egg hunt. I will do some foraging today. And it's not the best luck day. I could maybe end up in the mines later, but I'm not entirely sure if I want to do that yet. We will see. But obviously, priority is to upgrade the trash can as much as we can. We're on the copper one, so we can actually sell stuff now. It is a very expensive egg. I feel like that's kind of what's happening right now. Well, the eggs I usually get um, for the first time have actually been in stock, so I hope they don't go out of stock when they do the actual like picking of our food shop tomorrow. We just decided to um, get the food shops delivered now. Oh, Robin's Axe, I forgot about that. And um, Tesco do a good thing where you can basically do a subscription for the delivery and it's so much cheaper. So we started that today and I'm very excited to not have to go all the way out to do the food shop anymore. <laughs> Dandelion! Obviously the less time I spend outside the more um, I can get done. I It was weird because like I got so used to getting them delivered for a while. Do rules not allow building or purchasing from Robin? Um, no, so I can only buy... I can build one single fish pond from her and the mill. That's it. Um, other than that, like no animals and stuff. Trash bread! But yes, also very grateful to have May in the chat because she is obviously, as the person who made this version of the challenge. Um, oh, I didn't bring my hoe, what a shame. Why the fish pond? Um, because for perfection, you need to get a uh, fish row and aged row and the only way you can get those is with a fish pond and also hello Evan welcome in I'm only gonna be ever allowed to sell one of each and that's it and it's got to be periwinkle to make the least money possible I'm going straight up to Robin I'm gonna go to her and then I'm gonna go into the mines I think Row and age row indeed. Obviously I can get the caviar from- I have to get the caviar from the travelling merchant, I don't really have a choice. Um, but the age row and the row. Robin, have an axe. Here you go. And, um, some money. We can do these as well, we can do anything in our journal and we can do quest board quests. Um, but on the special orders board when we come to it, only certain versions of them. But we'll come to that later on, I mean we're only on- uh, you know, uh, live stream number two, I just lost the word for live stream there in my brain. 
You're at the end of your first perfection run. It's so annoying waiting for the last bits for cooking and crafting. I agree. I know what you mean. Um, so let's see where we're at. Open your can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep the bread as well because we're going to need that for cooking. Is there anything I want to bring with me? I'm going to try and leave one cave carrot up here. Oh, I've got bug meat. I can make that into food. There's some food because these actually give a decent amount of energy and stuff. But your first perfection run, as soon as you hit that, oh my god, it's so exciting. Let's do this. Oh, that was a nice early ladder. Loads of copper going on right now. Be the dwarf is always, almost always last. Yes, yeah, same. Dwarf is really difficult for me. I think, like, so when I first did that first expanded run, Martin was last for me, but that's because, like... I rarely ever saw or spoke to him because I don't really go to the movie theatre or Jojo much in the first run. And obviously Martin's only in town like three days a week or something. So he's quite hard to get, but in vanilla, definitely dwarf. I don't want to come all the way up to the mines. I mean, I know we've got the minecarts and stuff, but I'm lazy. <laughs> Do I kill the bug first? I'm going to kill the bug first. Bug meat is good food right now. Coal, please. I also see an amethyst down there. Thank you very much. Martin always visits the library on Sundays, so about three times a week. Yeah, he comes. He works on Tuesday and Saturday, and then library on Sunday. Lots of gems in here today. No, he has like I think juice is one of his love gifts. I mean, he likes rabbit's feet like everyone else, but that's not exactly an easy gift until you get a coop. But obviously in this playthrough, no coop for me. Dwarf is easy. Dwarf is very easy. It's just all gems. I never bother with a lemon stone thing. I didn't really, I, th I thought like, once someone told me that the lemon stone was a love gift, I thought it was one of his only ones. And then I looked up and he's basically like, Clint and Emily. <laughs> Oh my god, Alex? Yeah, he's a pain. Wait. Oh, it's because my inventory's full. I was like, why can't I pick that up? Yeah, I don't really bother too much with Alex's uh, love gifts. Unless I happen upon them somehow. Which, let's be honest, is never. I'm not putting the effort into making, like, cooking multiple different occasions with a complete breakfast. I'm not going to catch salmon just for him. I definitely need to invest in the next backpack upgrade soon, I think. We're about to hit floor 40 though. Alex is um, fancy when it comes to his love gifts, to be honest. Let's be real. Alex is also the first person I ever married on a file. Ooh, horse. Are we allowed horses, May? Didn't think of that. I always forget the horse exists. I'm almost out of energy already. A slime hatch from an incubator also works for selling ice cream off season. This is very true. Ah, there we go. Floor 40. Thank you for the slingshot that I don't want. I just realized I made a mistake there. I'm gonna get the coal and then maybe I just eat the, um, the bug. The bug steak, I mean. Probably gonna get rid of the bat wings as well because I've got so many of them. And it's not so bad getting rid of stuff because obviously we get the money back for it, so it's fine. Fine, okay, I'll do it without. If you did it without, I'll do it without. Remind me how long into the game it took you again, May, to get perfection. 
what I'm gonna do actually is I'm chucking stuff on the floor because I actually want to like squeeze every penny out of this so uh, I don't think this app actually gives me anything because it's so cheap but um but like the slime I will take a couple of pennies you know <gasps> boss slime oh regular slime trying to defend its boss please leave me alone This is why I don't get far in the roguelike. Year seven. This is not good because I've run out of food. Um, standing on top of it was a bad mistake. Right, inventory full. What has it dropped us? Lead rod? Okay. Yes, please. Um, I'm going to get rid of the forest sword then. That's amazing. Okay, that was so worth it. we are doing? I'm gonna just swap these around, but I'm doing it wrong. There we go. All right, get the iron on this floor and then go back up. Might as well get the quartz. There's quartz down there too. No, it's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I'm leaving because I'm almost dead. Right. How are we doing on stuff? So... I could eat the one horseradish. I'm not sure if I want to. Maybe I should. I'll eat one cave carrot also. I just want to not be almost dead, you know? <laughs> I haven't got the lead rod in a while, so I'm excited about it. What does everyone name their horse? I mostly let the game name my animals. But obviously with you guys here, you guys will name any animals I get, which is, let's be honest, none. If I get a horse, you guys can name it. <laughs> Steed or nay. Right, get out of my way. Oh my god. I only recently learned how to properly do that situation with the clubs and um, my life has been changed. You still love Nope? I know the game. So in the uh, Artisan Valley playthrough, the game named my horse Nope. Which was the funniest thing ever. I had to keep the name. You can't not keep that name. You have 400 chickens named Chicken. <laughs> Whenever I think of a chicken named Chicken, I think of the show Cow and Chicken. If anyone ever remembers that thing. I don't remember a huge amount about it other than the um, theme tune. Oh, another cave carrot! More food! I'm also gonna look at all the ladders. I'm gonna get the um the crate. Enjoy your luck. Oh, I forgot to fire the bot. I did unmod it, so maybe it will leave me alone now. Let's go up and put all of our stuff away because we are full. I'm pretty much just gonna let myself pass out here today. Um, I can only make one more of those, so. There we go. Partway to our next upgrade. I don't know why it took me so long to get that sentence out, but there you go. <laughs> I probably should have kept the cave carrot. What a donut. I really want all of those. Is it a risk though? Probably. At least the lead rod really does kind of obliterate them. Do you hold left while using the hammer or are you actually clicking left? I think I click. Hang on. Oh, I just messed that up. Let me try that again in a minute. Good cow, hello. I hope you've been doing well. I think I spam. You get creative and name livestock after food that can be, be made out of them. Oh my god. I'd be surprised if there was anyone in here who hasn't ever named a chicken called Drumstick. <laughs> <laughs> Kiwi, hello, welcome in.
James also hello. I can't remember if I actually said hello to you directly. And hi, hello. You did? <laughs> See? It's a thing. Give me all the coal. I'm almost dead. I'm not going to die today. It's going to be fine. Your first pick is always called Kevin. Why Kevin? Oh, Kevin Bacon. Duh. Why did I only just... That was difficult. You always have a chicken called KFC. Heck yeah. You've never done that, but you're also vegetarian. Okay, fair enough. Understandable. Rajiv, hello. Welcome in. Right, how many bars do we have? Three. Do I just wait? No, if I wait for these ones, I'm going to pass out. So I'll leave these up here and I'll come and collect them another time. Um, What am I going to do? I'm going to go home. I'm going to bring my home. And I'm going to go home. Try clicking your attack button on the keyboard while also clicking the left. I don't know what my attack button is. I've never, um, I've only just really started using the, that sort of attack at all, really. I, I used to be a sword person and only ever a sword person. Usually C, oh, it probably is C for me as well then. I'm just checking if there was an artifact spot up here I missed, but I can't quite see, so let's just go home. Go back to our absolutely wrecked meteor farm. And obviously that's part of the um, story, right? I mean, like, they say Stardew Valley was called Stardew Valley because of the meteor activity or something, right? And that's what made the soil so fertile. Well, like, obviously mine are now especially fertile because it really is a meteor blast zone. Noise. If you use the hammer special outside, the leaves in the air will go up. I did not know that. Right, getting our watering done, and then it is thingy-majig time. <laughs> what am I talking about? It's, um, oh my god, brain. Egg hunt time. Have you thought we're doing a challenge to make your character look like who you're going to marry until you run out of characters? Then you choose how you want to be. I've never thought of that, but also, I'm trying to think of how, I guess, like, you need to get the stuff with the clothing or whatever, right? You should tend to know your first chicken in Agda is from this really silly and unique song in Swedish. Has it got like reference to chickens out of curiosity? <laughs> Parsnip! Cannot wait to be able to get. What level am I? I'm only level one farming still. Big rip. And what's also sad is no strawberries for us because Pierre's the one who sells them. It's a song about chickens and two roosters. That's so random. Oh, so we've got something for the spring crops bundle. Is that the only thing we have left to donate for that? No, we have a green bean as well. Do I? Have I not got green beans yet? Oh, how sad. Okay. We just have to hope that the green bean comes up. Do I leave anything here? Do I need to? Do I want to? Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to buy anything, am I? It's still 7.30am. It's not even time to go yet. What am I doing? What I'll do in the meantime is get some of this. It is 100% going to rely on the Anai market. Uh, also the travelling merchant. I'm very excited. This 100 days video, I'm very excited to show you how painful that one's going to be. <laughs> but this, this, I think this is going to be the first time I don't give any hints as to what the challenge will be. I'm going to wait until it's actually out. Oh, yes. Level up. Give me that. Getting all the important rocks first. I might as well use up all my energy, right? Because this is one of those days that we go to bed like basically when we get home anyway no one wants to mine in the dark so i might as well get myself to as little energy as possible how much do we have so we can do six more rocks
do one more. There we go. Exactly zero energy. Oh, it's one energy. Well, I'm not going to do any more. Why go to the egg fest at all? Um, because I want a hat. And because... Oh, I almost just... Oh, I thought I was going to exhaust myself from that then. That would have sucked. Never mind. I'll just refill it another time. Um, yeah, I want a hat, basically. I want to protect my head from the sun, you know? Summer's coming. I don't want to burn myself. Also, I get to talk to everyone for friendship points. <laughs> right as me said it, oh my god. Refilling doesn't take energy. I think I just did it wrong. It's because the, the bar still shakes, so it confuses me. Yes, and after the first year, the reward is always a thousand gold. And every penny counts, to be honest. Yeah, everyone's spoken to you. Oh yeah, a thousand gold is like very much worth it, but... <laughs> I mean, even in any other ones, but also I just like, I enjoy it, you know, it's a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun for me. I always like trying to beat myself on my last one, but I think like 14 was my best. So I'm not sure if I am going to beat it, <laughs> but I could try. Right, these people are going to be in my way. Have I spoken to Caroline yet? Yes, I have. Marlon doesn't have friendship in this. Just the, the bone fruit makes a... I, I've never actually tried... I, not, not never. I always forget about making stuff with the sewing machine. It's 6.30. For some reason... Why did I in my head think it was later than it is? I don't know what just happened to my brain there. Try an egg hunt only in year one. You have a mod that makes it so different people win every year. That's adorable. I love that. Hi, Lewis. Let's start. I just like trying to like beat myself, I don't know. Boomfell, also hello, welcome in. It's time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. Calm down now kiddos, you're gonna need all your energy if you've got- Calm down now kiddos, you're gonna need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. He seems so excited about the prize, doesn't he? Now, is everyone ready? Let's go. Right. I have been trying to vary up the way I do the egg hunts just to see like if I get any better each time, but I think like this specific route is like my best out of all of them. The one in Lewis's car. I always get stuck on that bush. If I didn't get stuck on that bush, I probably could have got an entire extra egg, but it's fine. Everything's fine. We're still going to win. We're still going to take home the... Is that an egg? It is an egg. I never knew that was there. That was the first time I've seen that egg. Is there one down there? Yes, there is. I forgot there was one down there. It's like I've forgotten how to do this. Oh, 12, okay. I'll take a 12. I love making clothes to switch around the outfits. I feel like it's just like, the, you know, in shows how like the outfit becomes part of your character. That's what I end up going with. Other than the hat. Well, look at all these eggs. Now, if only I can get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently, we'd have the cleanest town this side of the Gem Sea. Come on, Lewis, give me the hat. Thank you very much. Thank you for my prize. Well, that's it for this year's Egg Festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. Seasonal outfits would be a good idea. Huh? <laughs> One second.
Right, I'm back. Right. You always try to make the bridal out I forget about that too. I mostly don't have the pearls in time. Oh, put the hat on first. Got to go to sleep with the hat on, you know. <laughs> Ren, hello. We just did the egg hunt. Pretty much all that's happened so far. So now we have level four mining. That was definitely worth our energy in the morning. Horse and alien rare crow need hats. Very true. Get on with our usual watering, but first, oh, I see a load of forage. I want to get the queen at source. We've also got Haley's birthday today as well. Look at all the forage. This is probably where we're going to make most of our money. I need to go see Caroline as well because it's a new gifting week. Oh, my inventory is full. I forgot I've only got such a small inventory. So one of these has forage in this one. And let's leave all this in here for now. My crops are also in here. Yes, they are. Did I just keep the cauliflower on me since yesterday? Or, oh. There we go. Also, we've got the traveling merchant to go see today, but I'm worried because I don't really have that much money. I suppose I could bring some stuff to bin sell on my way. Scarecrow looks like it would give you a jump scare at any moment, imagine. You watch a lot of 100 Days of Stardew Valley kind of videos. You kind of want to get into Stardew Valley a little more each time, wondering how much patience and time you need to put into it. The best thing about Stardew is that, like, you can play it however you want. So, you know, if you like the look of things with mods, you can give that a go. If you just want to do it bit by bit in the vanilla game, that's fine too. There's no rule that says, like, you have to go and do everything as fast as you can, like, immediately. Just go and explore and just have fun and do the parts of the game that you enjoy the most, you know? Um, and if you're stuck, just, like, check out some people's videos. There's a, there's a lot of good people who make some good content on how to do stuff in Stardew. Highly recommend. So I'm going to make... We've got 80 more seeds here. That is a lot of seeds. I think I'm going to sell the gold star ones. I've also not shipped these yet. Also, I've got my shipping chest here. I'm not going to ship anything else today. I'm just going to chuck these all straight in the shipping bin, I think. And just get them shipped. So I can do one of each thing for shipping. It's got to be of the lowest quality. So I've got the shipping chest next to the shipping bin. So usually you'd only do this at the end of a day. As long as you do it once a day, you can't really get too confused. The rest route is whichever one you like and gives you plus uh, at least nine eggs. Yeah, you're, you're very, you're very right. Let's get all these planted. I think I'm going to go ahead and fill out this entire section in forageables. <laughs> Since I don't have any actual uh, farming seeds to put here. Are these not... Oh, it does. It's just me being dumb. Oh, no, that one doesn't. Okay. I'm trying to learn which tiles are tillable and which ones are not. YouTube eating your messages because of the emoji. You're about third of the way through 423 days. Oh my god. Amazing. And thank you for coming to say hello. Appreciate you coming to say hello. Can we get past this rock in this direction? Not really. This rock is kind of a hindrance. I can't wait to upgrade my pickaxe, but the, uh, the trash can has to come first. Right, let's see how much of this we're going to fill out. What farm is this? Uh, this is the Meteor Farm. It's a modded map which should be linked in the description. Oh my god, May sets like impossible challenges for herself, yeah. Um, I can only echo what May said, maybe don't play the game the way that May does, especially if it's your first proper time playing it. <laughs> I absolutely do not recommend. So let's water all this. And hopefully by the time I finish watering as well, Haley will be out of her room and stuff. Mm. 
You should really read descriptions before asking. No, it's okay. Um, the only reason I say about it being in the description is more like... I can tell you it's the Meteor map, but it's easier if, like... If you then wanted to use it, the link is there if you wanted it, kind of thing. It's a very cool map, and it was voted by you guys as well. So I had a poll that ran just before I did the challenge. To see out of like a few choices, or out of two choices I think it was in the end, which map we wanted to go with. And this is the one that won. Oh, I missed a spot. I'll water it and then I'll put a seed there. Yeah, I think this is like the worst off I've been since knowing how to play the game by this date in spring. <laughs> Um, I might just go ahead and sell one of these. Wow, 15. I'm going to wait as much as I can to sell anything. Um, I need to put that one seed there. Where's my seeds? Hello? Why have I put them in the fish chest? Anyone else do that? I just like accidentally put stuff in the wrong chest. Um, do I have the Caroline quest yet? No, I don't. And then what I think I want to do today is... Wait, can I make field snacks? Yes. Why did I question myself? I can only make two. Okay, that's not ideal. I'm gonna make two field snacks. At least it's something, you know? And then we are gonna go back to the mines again. I think I've got a couple of cave carrots and stuff up there, so at least I've got something. It's also salmon berry season starting tomorrow, so we're gonna have to 100% take advantage of that. Oh, and I need to bring a daffodil for Haley too. Water the cat, please. I will water the cat. Daffodil for Haley. Got a silver one, so I'll use that. Two is better than zero, very true. Am I gonna marry someone? Yes, I have to marry someone because this will be a perfection run in the end, so. Um, I haven't decided who yet, but we'll see. Kina K, hello, welcome in. Oh, we've got this cutscene about the sewers, which we don't have time for. It's not the absolute worst challenge on the Discord, no it isn't. Obviously one day I'm going to want to be doing that too. Right, uh, oh, oh my god, that's so annoying. Oh, large egg, that's all, that is good though. But also potato seeds, but also a grape starter that I can't afford. There's so much stuff here. Do I just come, uh... <laughs> I'm having like a minor breakdown. Um, right, I'm gonna get the large egg. I wanna, oh, that's so annoying. I'm hoping it's just gonna have to come up again at some point. We've got the large egg for the community centre though, so that's a good thing. Who have you never married? If there's someone like that, marry them. The only people I've ever married are... In vanilla are just Shane and Alex, so, you know. Oh no, 100% not the grape starter. We're gonna get them in summer. It's all good. I'm not gonna get the potato seeds either, because they're kind of a lot. Um, and I don't need them. I've got them from mixed seeds. So that's going in. I need to put the donate chest. Um, got all this stuff to donate at some point. Not right now, though. Why have I put rice in here? I'm very confused as to why I've done that, but oh well. You know what? I'm passing by the community centre. I might as well just drop some stuff off. So, I think maybe it's the milled rice I might need. Have I not got look up anything on here? I haven't. No, I don't. That was intentional. Okay. Um, quality crop can't do yet. Can't do that yet. I can do those. Have I done stuff for the construction bundle? No. I don't have enough, but I can drop off what I can, right? For, make, for turning from the mill, that makes sense. Speaking of rice... Rice! <laughs> um... I wanted to see if there was some stuff I could bring to... Was it the wood that has two stacks, or is it the... Uh, stone, because I can never remember. It's the wood, okay. I'm gonna bring 99 stone with me.
And then Car uh, Caroline's just gonna have to have a gift another day. The wizard's cutscene is one of the cutest things. Wait, the, as in like for marriage? Is there a mod for it somewhere? There are definitely mods for people to marry non-marriageable people. Where am I going again? I'm finding Haley, who should be up by the fountain. Haley is the polar opposite vibe. And I think it kind of makes sense, like, especially, you know, after her cutscene with the cows and stuff. There's a birthday gift. But yeah, I think, um, I'm not even thinking about marriageable people until later on when I've got a bit more consistent money and stuff, because at the moment... <laughs> My focus is on trying to like upgrade my trash can and oh, I've gone past the community center. <laughs> Whoopsie. At least I'm not missing out on too much of a good luck day, you know. Linus would be perfect for this run. Oh my god, he would have been perfect. Go down here first. Oh, I kept took the rice with me, what an idiot. Um, so exotic foraging, we want that. Construction bundle. One. That. That. Oh yeah, and I've got to upgrade that. Oh god, I've got to get ten grand at some point. And then... You keep saying stuff at the same time. Uh, lake fish. I've already done the carp, so why did I do that? Sunfish is riverfish, isn't it? Where is it? There. Alright, well I'll leave these up by the mines when I get up there then. Maybe I'll eat the carp. <laughs> oh no, because I need it for carp surprise. I should probably keep it. I think that's why I put it in there. I think I need a separate chest for cooking. I think that's where I'm getting confused. <laughs> Hello, Demetrius. Oh, I actually wanted to say hello. I'm also just going to change a setting real quick because hide when visited. There we go. Not hiding a traveling merchant when I visited is getting a bit confusing for me. So I look at it and I'm like, oh, did I forget? No, I didn't forget. I've already been. Make a chest. F <laughs> Again. Ooh, oh, damn it. I was going to say the um, this is done, so I could have gone and upgraded my trash can, but I can't because it's too late. Alright, let's make progress and get more iron and stuff. <gasps> Look at all those dust sprites. I probably should kill that slime as well, it gives more chance. I've only got two field snacks. I'm not going to get very far with this, I don't think. We'll see what happens. If you kill all the monsters on the floor, it gives a slightly higher chance for a ladder to appear in each rock. Not by much, but you know, if it helps, it helps. Ladder! There it is. And we're already out of uh, energy, so that's unfortunate. How much do I have? 16. May has been here for a very long time. Why is this slime yellow? Oh, it's... what? That was weird. Did anyone see that? Oh, I've got a level up, so at least if I pass out, it's not a problem. All right, well, we're leaving because we've... <laughs> Imagine this challenge with the Jojo root. Oof. Yeah, that would be so much worse. <laughs> so much worse. Although, would it? Because you'd just kind of be focused on making your money and you wouldn't have to worry about... Other than for the shipping, like, much about what items you have and stuff. So I don't think it would... Ma like, it wouldn't be quite as bad, I don't think. 
Um, I can make one bug steak. Is there stuff in here I can give to Gunther? I don't have time to go all the way down there. I could sell a couple of these also. But I think I'm going to wait. I do be starving. Me is also very nice. Just do a lot for us here. Keeping the food on me so I remember I've got it. And then we'll have to revisit the mines another day. I mean, I wish it would just rain or something. Although the next few days is going to be probably focused on just getting as many berries as we can. Because food is a problem. I don't know. I mean, like, I think... Working harder, I don't think you do because you still have to upgrade your trash can, which is where I'm struggling at the moment. Level 3 combat. Right, come on, bring on salmon berry season. I made a little bit of money from our shipping one of certain things. And then I think I'm actually going to give my tea a try. Hang on. Right. It's got a very, like, there's definitely mint in this. I couldn't tell you what's in it other than peppermint. Although in this case, I actually quite like it. So I want to see what's in it. I couldn't possibly tell you. So what was it? Winter balance. There we go. Oh, it's the spearmint I can taste. So what's in it? Peppermint leaves, organic spearmint, organic fenugreek. Everything's organic. I'm just going to say what they are. Elderflowers, turmeric, lemon peels, fennel, and rosemary. I kind of get that. It kind of just tastes like general herby, but with like a minty situation. But it's the spearmint I can taste the most, and I really like it. I prefer spearmint over peppermint. It's really good. Oh my god, look at all the berries. Oh my god, one single berry. That's a, that's sad. All right, how close am I to the next um, foraging level? How do I check this? Oh, I'm not close at all. Okay, never mind. I don't think I have any foraging food either, so that's a bit sad. Um, so we'll just go around and bring... Oh, we need to go give Caroline a gift too, so... We'll give her a daffodil and we'll get as many berries as we can and there's actually quite a lot on the farm as well so that's going to help us a lot and i just realized i need to actually water my crops spearmint is very strong and overpowers anything else it's a very good tea i'm, I'm enjoying it that's a good thing because i i've had peppermint tea before and i really didn't like it I don't know why I had to take that berry right at that moment, even though I didn't. I've just left it on the floor. We'll go back for it. It's fine. I'll definitely remember it's there. <laughs> or will I? You need to start drinking tea again. I used to drink a ridiculous amount of tea. So, oh no, it's where I can't reach it. Well, I can. I just need to chop that tree down, so I'll do that. Um... I used to drink so much tea, like I went through a phase of those twining fruit green teas and I drank a stupid amount of them. I had boxes and boxes and boxes of them because <laughs> I just went through so many. So this tree is the nuisance. I know I didn't need to use energy on the, um, what's it called? The fiber but it's fine everything's fine oh look at all the bushes over here there's so many bushes i think there's a mod that i might have put in with this for destroyable bushes but i can't remember axe is not needed anymore oh actually put it away though just mine non-stop and sell bars literally that might be a strat we might have to uh use very soon 
Oh, I just realized as well, I just said about going to get the next upgrade from Clint, but I can't afford it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sell some stuff. Oh no! Caroline, hurry up, please. I need to... <clears throat> I need to befriend her ASAP. Bars and gems. I might end up selling quite a lot of my copper, you know. But today, salmon berries. You have a dedicated tea tin that used to be a biscuit tin. <laughs> he went from like one British thing to another British thing. <laughs> I love that. What you what you want is like a a segment, like a tin with compartments, and one compartment is for biscuits, and the other one's for tea. Although to be fair, I know like a lot of herbal teas aren't really like biscuit teas. They're just like drink and enjoy teas. What farm is this? This is the Meteor Farm. It's a modern map, and it's linked in the description. Renthony? Uh, how do I pronounce your name? I'm so sorry if I butchered it, but hello, welcome in. Hello. I, am I looking for out money? No, I'm not. I'm looking for salmon berries. <laughs> Only salmon berries. I know I just walked past one there, but I'll loop back to it eventually. Ooh, horseradish. I'll take that. Biscuit tin is always the sewing box. <laughs> oh yeah, it's those um the one where you open it and it's not biscuits, it's freaking sewing. I used to have a sewing box, but deliberately made it not a biscuit tin because the disappointment, you know. <laughs> I don't know if I still have the sewing box. I don't really sew stuff. I mean I never really sewed stuff anyway, it was just for like emergencies. The butter biscuits, yum. You don't know how to sew. I only used it for like emergencies <laughs> if I had to like repair something. Which is like barely ever. Especially now because I kind of cycle through the same few like outfits. But when I say outfits I have like, I, let's be honest I live in PJ bottoms or joggers um, or like loungewear on the bottom and on the top it's mostly a jumper or a hoodie. So my wardrobe is very small. In fact, my wardrobe wardrobe, the actual wardrobe is got a box in front of it. So like, that's how little I open it. <laughs> so all my jumpers are like hanging up on hooks and stuff. Can do embroidery, can't replace a button. Understandable. I used to love cross stitch. Like really used to love cross stitch. But I just kind of went off it in time. <laughs> it was another one of those like, ADHD, I'm into a new hobby and then drop it as soon as I, like as fast as I started it. <laughs> Blaze, hello, welcome in. Twenty-eight salmon berries is a good start considering we are really low on the foraging level. Oh, there's the bush I missed earlier. I almost forgot it then. I think the amount of berries that we had just from the farm has helped a lot. But at the end of the day, salmon berries are so much better than spring onions. Oh, let's see if we can get anything from the trash. Nothing so far. Haven't sewn anything in a while, but done a dress twice. Oh my god, you made a dress? That's wild. Oh, that material, I'm... I think I'm allergic to it. <laughs> Never forget the day that I had a ballet show and... I was like seven. I had a ballet show and I... Oh, Caroline. Um, I came off the stage in a massive, like, rash all over my legs. <laughs> Playing with that purpose, hello, welcome in. I like your name. Come on, give me stuff. I want stuff from the trash. No stuff from the trash. Big sad. There's salmon berry bushes over here, aren't they? You can still fit into one of them. Oh my god, how long ago did you make it? I feel like that usually means that it's been a while. How far along are we? Who are we romancing? Not romancing anyone specific at the moment. Uh, damn it, I got, just got god daft I've already given Caroline a gift. That's so annoying. Um... How far along are we? Very not far. We are, the, I mean, spring 15 year one. That's what, <laughs> that's how new we are. 
Trying to make sure to just talk to people as we go past. I've already spoken to Abigail, so that's fine. But I'm excited to do something extremely difficult like this. <laughs> You were 15? Oh my goodness. Oh. My hair just got all funny in my headphones, so I had to sort it out. Anyone else with long hair feel that? <laughs> just like your hair starts obstructing sort of like the way it sits on your head and it's like very annoying. Another daft deal. Give me that. I'll give Caroline the other gold star one tomorrow. In a challenge where I don't usually have to think about um, the lack of money that I have, I usually invest some in the summer spangles that you can get from the travelling merchant early on because giving them to Caroline is a loved gift. Very valuable to get the tea saplings earlier, you know. Tentrabola, hello! You've been a fan for several weeks now getting back into Stardew and you found the channel to be relaxing and fun to watch. Oh my god, thank you so much. I appreciate your kind words. And for coming to say hello. Gotta go check out by the mines to see if there are any there. My headphones are just sat really weird on my head. Hang on. I think they just like got too big. There we go. I have a weirdly shaped head. <laughs> I feel like my head is abnormally large for my height. You're growing your hair, all you hear is complaining from those that have long hair. I mean, my hair isn't- I mean, it's long enough to go over my ears, obviously. It's quite short now, but I used to have it quite a lot longer. That was a pain. <laughs> Learn to sew and stop buying fast fashion forever. Yeah, I tend to, like... When it comes to the fast fashion stuff, I know, like... You know, a lot of the problem with it is... <gasps> no! Oh, big sad. <laughs> Leah Bug, oh my god. Thank you so much for the blueberry renewal. Glad to be back after work and illness. Oh my god, I hope you are feeling okay. But thank you so much for the uh, being a blueberry member for three months. Oh my god. That's a massive rip. I'm so sad. <laughs> That's the kind of thing to happen to me, right? grip oh well it is what it is we move on we live with it we live with the consequences i'm gonna keep the gold daffodil on me because caroline oh another berry give me that yes <laughs> yes massive f's i can't believe that just happened your husband was sick we've been on and off for ages you haven't been relaxed due to housework and regular work backed up. That's rough. I'm glad things are starting to turn around, it sounds like, though, now. Fertilizer? Well, I don't want your fertilizer, Pierre. I don't need your goods. More berries. More berries, more watering. Lots of watering to do today. Really wish I had foraging food. Like, really wish. I could have double the berries. The laundry pass were finally addressed. <laughs> oh yeah, that reminded me, that's what I was saying. Um, because of how few different types of clothes I wear, I end up going very budget on them because I don't really mind what they are. But the problem with me is because of my size, I struggle to find clothes that fit me. Um, so I don't really buy clothes all that often. I think over the past, like, for example, the past year, I can tell you I've bought two sets of pyjamas, an Udi, and this jumper, and a regular hoodie. What else did I buy? I had to buy a couple of bits for Florida, so like I bought a couple of t-shirts. But when I buy clothes, like I don't not have them for ages. Like I, most of what I've owned clothes-wise, I've had for years. But it's because I don't really care about clothing all that much, if you know what I mean. So like at least when I have to go budget on my clothes, I'm not so much fast in the fast fashion part. Matt 
hello! Very few places have clothes in tall sizes. Oh gosh, yeah, that must be a struggle. Can I eat pancakes? I don't, um, I don't have a kitchen yet. <laughs> I don't have animals, I don't have the ingredients or anything. It has nothing in the way of foraging food. The pair of PJ bottoms I'm wearing now has about seven holes in it. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. But clothing shopping is stressful and that's why I just don't bother. And most of the stuff I do buy ends up being because it's on sale. But I obviously, like, I grew up um, being told, oh, you should be wearing this because of course I don't have a cave. What am I, what am I thinking? You know, it, it's the fashion. And I was always like, yeah, but I don't like it. So why would I want to wear it? I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm not just going to buy something to wear that I don't even like just because other people say it's cool. You know, that's just not me. At the end of the day, it's the clothes that are the problem, not the body. But that's why when I buy clothes, I always make sure when I buy it that it's going to be something that I'm going to wear for years, you know? What did you have for dinner? I would try Was it the pizza? I, I think it it's either the pizza or something else that is a very classic May dish and I, I need to know. <laughs> I've yet to have dinner. Now have dinner after the stream. You grew up with three brothers. You always preferred the hand-me-downs. To your sisters ah uh, you hear how much more comfortable men's clothes are than women's and the pockets like the pockets the women's clothes get are very upsetting i don't want to have to carry a bag around the only bag i like to carry around is my backpack and when i say carry it around it's only when it's absolutely essential that i need my backpack um but other than that i don't want to carry stuff around i just want to put stuff in my pockets and like be able to reach for it because i only ever carry like what do I ever take with me? A little wallet, and my phone, and the car key, and the house key, and that's it. I don't need anything else. Oh, and my uh, loops. My earplugs. <laughs> I don't need anything else. But my phone needs to fit in my pocket. Sometime last year I bought my first pair of jeans in years, and I love them. They're very comfortable. The banana abomination that is your pizza, a. Hey. Is that like a Wednesday for you, for you May? Because I feel like it's often with coinciding with streams and I'm here for it. You always had a friend who always said they wouldn't wear something if they haven't got the body for it. It always upset you that they thought that. Oh, yeah, that does like, I used to think that, but that was because like of you know, when you spend a lot of time around people who think like that, you may also think like that, but also because of my neurodivergent brain, I didn't really, until I was older, I didn't really know how to act. So I just thought like, if other people are doing this, then that's what I should be doing, you know? <laughs> um, it wasn't until I became an adult and was like, no, I don't wanna. <laughs> that's when I started just doing what I want. Like, I don't, I don't care what other people think. I don't care if I'm walking around in Joggers and a jumper and everyone's in, I don't know what is trendy. <laughs> I just want to wear what's comfortable for me. It's obsession with thinness and handbags, not your body. Yes. Obsession with thinness. Pockets are a pet. Just, like, the one thing I did used to do is when I used to have an office job, um, I would only ever buy, so when I was doing office, obviously you have to like be a bit more presentable in an office. So my go-to every single day was always a dress with tights and either a cardigan or a blazer. So I literally probably had maybe 10 dresses I rotated between and I, every single one of them had pockets. I think I had maybe one dress that didn't have pockets, but they all had pockets and all, all of the cardigans and blazers had pockets as well. I need my pockets. <laughs> I mean, I brought bags to work because I needed stuff, but I still, there's some things I don't want to have to root through my bag for. And that's the stuff I reach for regularly. Beauty mags are a heck no from me. 
You have your corporate office job, dresses with heels you go to. It's amazing how quickly it is to slap on a loot. Yeah, when you have like a set combination of clothes that you like know that you can go to, it's so much easier. Heels are a no from me though, I just couldn't ever cope with them. I'm short and I was told again, like for growing up, you need to wear heels. And I was like, no, I don't want to. That was the one thing I stuck by. Other than like, I think I've owned like two or three max pairs of heels in my life and didn't wear a single pair to work, put it that way. <laughs> um, it was only in my like younger days. And I even had um, some like a manager that I worked with who was obviously significantly older. He asked me one day, he was like, Emma, how come you never wear heels? And I was like, I just don't like them. And he was like, oh, good for you. <laughs> I think he just wasn't expecting me to say something like that. Although I did have a friend and I love this story. Um, a friend at uni, she loves heels and um, she always did amazing with them. Some people, are made for heels she was made for heels she loved her heels and um i saw her this was someone i went to uni with and i saw her one day like i think it was in the kitchen or in a class i, ha I lived with her in the same dorm block and we had some classes together and she her hands were cut up and i was like are you okay what happened like and she was like oh um i tripped up the stairs in trainers and i was like <laughs> Funniest thing I've ever heard. Otter, hello! And hello, Vice also. You don't need heels, you're tall enough. Wait, May will just start banging her head everywhere. <laughs> you regret never wearing heels in your youth. Thing is, you're concerned you'd ruin your feet and ankles later in life. And it didn't even matter. Oh, I see what you mean. So it's like your chance to. They're just so uncomfortable though. I don't know. She only has balance, literally only has balance in heels. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. That's a story I'm never ever gonna forget. Funnily enough, she ended up, that's how the conversation actually came up. She ended up coming to work with me as well. Um, and that was what sparked the question because she was sent like I was moving onto a different job and she was essentially gonna be my replacement. And um, that our manager then asked me at that point about like, he didn't care. He was just like curious because I never wore heels. What was even better as well is later on they actually implemented, um, they kind of, a lot of offices started to get with the times a little bit. What do I do with the rest of my day? It's 5.50 p.m. I probably should chop wood. Um, they got with the times a bit and decided that the dress code didn't really matter all that much. I mean, don't come in completely scruffy, but also you don't need to be very corporate anymore. Because <laughs> like most of us weren't people who, like we were just in the office, like no one sees us. So um, we started to be able to wear a bit more of what we want. And I could then, sort of transfer into some slightly like s quite smart but still trainers but trainers and I was very excited about that it came in at a good time as well because I was starting to get foot pain you haven't worn heels in so long you feel like you're gonna fall down and be in pain if you wear them again I don't think I could ever wear heels again like I don't care if I if I go to an occasion that is like smart I don't care I'm going in flats I'm not wearing heels you can still get like smart flats you know what have i been carrying a cauliflower around all day why am i holding a cauliflower <laughs> i don't quite know it's hard getting your boyfriend to help you with uh trainers Ooh, um if it's because of the lacing i recommend i know that some people have those like it's a replacement for laces so it's like a rubber band that goes across the like lace holes and then you can just slip them on but they stay on that might be a good idea. Okay. Oh. Oh, you use Velcro. Velcro works too. But if there was like a particular pair you liked that happened to be lace up, you know. You want really high stiletto heels once. You didn't have to walk in those. It was for a photo shoot. Cauliflower for Jodie. I haven't got her quest yet. Um, The other thing was... What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the um, I'm, I'm pretty much out of food, but I can eat. The only other time, one of the times I remember is with having to wear heels was, I think I was about 16 and there was a, like a ward thing for the volunteering team that I was with. And I wore heels to the ceremony thing. And we had to go up on the stage to take a photo with our award and um, the stage wasn't like a permanent stage it was one that they put together for the event 
And me, being me, stepped on the only part of the stage that I probably shouldn't have stepped on because the stage was duct taped together and I put my heel through the tape. And also, oh no, there was another plane. There was another time I wore heels. There were very small heels, but they were like still heels. Wore them to a wedding. Um, it had cobbled pathways, but the paths were like in between the paths was like moss and mud and stuff. And my heel kept going in the gaps, and the heel kept getting stuck, and the whole shoe would come off. <laughs> I just I had to like re put my shoe on about seven times walking across that bit of path. I can't coordinate myself that well. Need to lurk study time? Oh, I hope your studying goes well, Otter. Thank you for stopping by, though. Sola, hello! More berries and also um, watering. Not cobble. Yeah, cobbles. Um, and I didn't know, because I hadn't seen it until the day, I didn't know there were those there. But god, that was so annoying. And then I had to obviously go and like try and clean the mud off of it as well because it looked really bad. It wasn't it hadn't rained or anything that day, it was just generally damp, and I think that didn't help. You're making your first batch of wine and travelers rest and your wine empire is now starting. Give you the gold. I'm excited for you. I'm excited to get into that, or that far into it. I feel like I did a lot for my first, so I've recorded the episode, I just need to finish editing it. Um, and Mike was very big, very kindly helping me with editing and such. But I feel like I did quite a lot for my first few days, so I'm excited for you guys to see. Ke Kellux? How do I pronounce your name? I'm so sorry, but hello, welcome in. I like to make sure when I see names for the first time that I'm unsure of to check if I'm pronouncing them correctly. Um, do I keep all this stuff on me? Yeah, I should. Because I would like to get more berries and also... Oh, it's a good luck day though. Probably should go up to the mines really. Can I reach that bush please? Culix. Okay, got it. I will make sure to remember that. I will do my best to remember that. Yes, of course I do. Anyone is welcome. Is Megan a dog or a cat or other type of animal? I suppose they are. But, I mean, like, what are they? <laughs> Terribly worded question. Oh no, absolutely. Like, I, um, I'm trying to think how to, like, say it without going on a whole speech, you know? But in short, yes. Like I myself am on the asexual spectrum. Megan is a dog. She's the one that keeps licking whilst I'm- Oh. Well, I hope everything goes well for Megan today. Um, right, let's bring this stuff and then I was gonna go, we'll have to give Caroline this, the daffodil another day. That can wait. And this time I've actually got enough food, but we're gonna go and forage through town. Do we go through town? Yeah, we'll go through town. Give Megan all the pets. No, I mean, it's something that I don't like, I suppose, directly speak about very often, but absolutely like anyone's, like, people are just trying to live their lives, you know? <laughs> Come on, salmon berries, I need more of you. I've got nearly 100. I feel like that's quite good for the fact that I've had no, like, I've only been getting one berry per bush. I think I've done quite well. 
Damien and Atlee, literally the same. Same. <laughs> Big same. Am I a Last of Us fan? I never got into it. Not on purpose. I just didn't. I don't know why. I heard a lot of good things about the game, but I think at the time I like had other games that I was playing. I know there's the series on at the moment, but I don't know if I should wait until I've ever played the game. I'm, although realistically, am I ever going to play the game? I don't know. I probably should just watch the series. Triple A, Arrow, Ace, and Agenda. All three. Triple A is a really cool way to say it. I like that. I'm going to treat it like Cleopatra mainly because she's so short. You have to take her off the bed so she doesn't hurt herself. Oh. It's an incredible adaptation. I'll have to watch it. What is it on? I can't remember what it's on. Like, that's how little I know about it. Oh, God. I have so much forage on me. Um. I should probably smelt more coal so I can get rid of them. And maybe I think what I'm going to do is like immediately sell half my bars. When I say sell, I mean... Oh, I only get 45. Well, I've got to get my money somehow, right? I feel bad though. No, I should wait. <laughs> it feels painful putting it in there for such small money. Um, We have 13 quartz. Is refined quartz worth more? Is it worth me smelting this into quartz? Into refined quartz? Probably not, right? I could sell the geodes. Big struggle. Yeah, the community in general is super supportive to all kinds of people, you know? Don't forget the notice board. This is very true. I do forget about it. Ugh, I hate the slime feeling. Get it off me. I was going to say who are Bill and Frank, but I'm guessing it's a Last of Us reference and I don't want to spoil it for myself. I think the only reason I've stayed away from it is because, like, um, everyone keeps saying it makes them cry and the main time I actually watch stuff is when I'm either, rec like, recording 100 Days stuff or editing and I don't want to be here, like, bawling my eyes out whilst I'm trying to script or play. <laughs> Exactly. We, um, if anyone doesn't support, they can get out, to be honest. You're right. I forgot that I can do that. Two chub. I'm gonna accept it, even if we don't end up doing it. I forgot that you can do that. If there's hype around it, you don't watch it. <laughs> you were like, um, I liked it before it was cool kind, right? It causes tears, but it's uplifting and sweet. It took until the hype around Wednesday died down to finally start watching it. Oh my god, Wednesday was so good. I'm so excited for the next one. Press H. I'm like nearly 800 hours into Stardew and I'm still learning stuff. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, I'm run out of, uh, run out of space. I won't, we won't spoil it. All, I, all I'll say is it's good. Like, that that's what I'd say. I'd never... I don't like it when people spoiler stuff, so... I mean, to be fair, depending on how far in advance someone spoilers it for me, I'm gonna forget. Let's be honest. Not me. I, I was thinking about that back bit getting closer, and then I just, like, prematurely hit, because oops. Liverpool? <laughs> Don't spoil- oh, like, just the LGPD plus community in general. Um, eat. That's what I need to do. I just- my brain just stopped. Mood. <laughs> How far into it are you, Evan? Irish Viking, hello, welcome in. 
salmon berries coming in clutch. Use the bait to open is part of your info suite. Oh, it's not vanilla. Okay. Well, to be fair, I would say out of the um, 800 hours, 780 of them have probably been used with your info suite. Where is the ladder? Please. I need it. One of you. You? Maybe you? Oh, geode. I want that. Um, I kind of need the wood. Do I need the wood? Do I want the wood? No, it's the slime. We'll get rid of. I used up all my energy again already. Episode four. Ooh, okay. Good to know. It, it's one of those, it took a bit for me to get into. Like, I think... I didn't enjoy the first episode that much, but I stuck with it. Because if I start a series, unless I hate it, I'm probably going to binge it. I'm watching... Um, I really enjoyed... So... Most people watch these things the other way around, but um, Michael introduced me to the originals last year. Was it last year? No, it was a year before now. And I really enjoyed that. So this year I started watching Vampire Diaries because I hadn't actually seen it before. And it's very, very long because I just finished watching Bones. And that show is incredible. And very, very long. And I love that. <laughs> very few aren't. Yeah, you're right. The original is so good. I agree. I wanted to watch um How far did we get how far did we get in legacies? Legacy. Yeah. Six episodes, then we lost it. Oh, that's right. We started watching it. Basically, what we did is um obviously legacies came out, right? But it hasn't come out over here, so um we when we were in Florida, we found it on Netflix there, so we quickly, like, downloaded as many episodes as we could onto the iPad uh, to watch on the way, like, on the plane back. I couldn't watch it. My anxiety said no. Um, but, yeah, we got back to the UK and we can't watch it anymore. <laughs> you not finished Bones, you keep getting distracted by other shows. Oh my god, I highly recommend finishing it. It's so... it, it gets so good. <gasps> Hardwood, we need that. Um, maybe I get rid of the regular wood for that then. Because we can always get regular wood later. Oh, lots of iron on this floor. Your brain still isn't past the fact that it's not 2021 anymore, honestly. <laughs> I saw a tweet the other day that was like, this isn't 2023, it's 2020 part 3. Or is it technically part 4? 2020 is part 1, right? <laughs> Um, what's on floor 50? Is there anything I want? Boots, I actually want those. So I'm going to chuck those on the floor for now. I'm going to put those in there. And those on my feet. Can you find more elimination shows to watch? You're invested in a Korean show? With the whittling people down to find out who's the best athlete called Physical 100. That sounds intense. He's stuck in 2019. Understandable. I feel like everyone's stuck in some version of the past like few years, you know. It'd be part four and that's confusing. It is very confusing. Reject 2023, embrace 2013. Oh, heck no. I wouldn't want to go back that far. Um, what was I doing in my life? I was up here for something. Probably smelting stuff, right? I smelt some stuff. Probably just to empty my uh, stuff off. Right, it's 820. Let's see how far we can get. I'm almost... I need to eat first. 2020 was the pilot episode. <laughs> yeah, 2020 was the pilot episode. The um, 2021 kind of continued it. What would 2022 be? The thing where everyone thought it was okay, but it wasn't okay yet. And 2023 is the cost of living crisis. Where everything is just ridiculously expensive. I mean, I know the cost of living stuff started last year, but it was the end of last year and probably going to have more effect this year. Twenty twenty changed nothing for you. That's wild. Twenty twenty was a big year of change for me. Bye. 
but I am determined to make this year a good one. And so far, I mean, I know it's only the 1st of February, but I feel like it's going pretty well. Lots planned for the channel here. In 2020, you became the norm. What, just like not going out? Yeah, I didn't really like <laughs> when people started like being at home where I really didn't mind that. I know some like it affected some people really poorly because they need to be out and socializing and stuff, but that is um not me. <laughs> I am not one of those people. Going out and socializing means lots of masking, and I'm not about that anymore. Just exhausting. If I were a Stardew character, what would my favourite gift be? Um, ooh, uh, pancakes. What else would I love? I'm trying to think of like a good variety of stuff. Hmm. Pancakes would definitely be one of them. I'm trying to think what else that I forget what else exists. Hang on. I'll look in a minute. Mangoes. Pancakes, mangoes. I'm looking through the um all the stuff. Pickles. So pancakes, mangoes, pickles. How many should I pick? Garlic, obviously. It can't not be garlic. If there was garlic bread in this game, that would be on it, but obviously there's not. I wish there was. Maybe oil of garlic. <laughs> All the garlic related things. You'd have been better off here in the US if you'd done a real lot. Yeah, that's very true. They didn't really do much, did they? If modded dragon fruit pops cool. Oh my god, yes. Reese would be pale ale, beer, mangoes, oranges, fairy roses, and diamonds. The pale ale and the beer did not surprise me at all. Not because I think you drink a lot, but because, like, obviously, we obviously talk about the variety of pale ales and beers you drink, and I love that. <laughs> I had to clarify that, I didn't want to make it sound bad. <laughs> you make pepper poppers, but you don't know the recipe's the same. I imagine it would be different, because there's very minimal ingredients. Mazes, pineapples, ghost crystals, skeleton hand? Oh, the skeleton hand's kind of cool. Survival burger, or maybe the puppy fish? The puppy fish is adorable. Oh yeah, the void mayo has to be on there, because we all know I'm the henchman. You're a connoisseur of good beer, exactly. What about mead? Your favorite thing in the game is just bread. You learned in the pandemic you'd been masking as a true extrovert your entire life. You're now more accepting even neurodiversity and it feels good. Yes, Mac. That is a vibe. I only really, um, 2020 was actually the year that we sort of talked about the fact that I, no, it was 2021. Um, the whole, neurodivergent situation came around in 2021 for me well I kind of like had been suspecting stuff for a while but it was the first time I'd really talked about it to anyone obviously um the only person having been Michael and then like the more we kind of spoke about it it wasn't even the more we kind of spoke about it it was just like pretty much as soon as I said it it was like yeah that makes sense <laughs> so started looking into it and then we found out I had ADHD and uh, waiting for the uh, autism referral, but that's going to be a long time, so it is what it is for now. You drank mead once and it's way too sweet. See if it's sweet. Maybe I need to try mead because I like sweet drinks. Ginger ale is amazing. Di Diagnosis then? You probably had it undiagnosed. Oh no, 100%. Undiagnosed my whole life, 100%. Um... But that's because obviously in a lot of like uh women or you know female at birth people it's very very hard not it's not hard to diagnose it's i mean i guess it is but we apparently mask better and that's why it's almost impossible to differentiate that's rough if they can't like figure that out i mean i guess like the way how did they figure it out for me? I think it was just, um, <laughs> it was funny because the way the, um, I have like 
some sort of nervous stim sometimes so like i kind of like without realizing kind of scratch on myself and i was having video calls with a psychiatrist at the time and she noticed and was like um hey what are you doing there and i was like oh uh yeah that's a thing i do and then we looked into it went for the adhd diagnosis first because obviously with adhd there's something they can treat more than they can like with autism it's more understanding yourself and learning to accept it and stuff uh but with the adhd there's something they could potentially treat so we went for that first you'd have nine items chocolate cake pizza rainbow trout sardines rainbow shirt oh i've never actually had sardines aquamarine tulip sunflower and cloth Ooh, sunflowers i like the fact that you've got um a good variety there sorry my brain just froze it's also harder to diagnose heart attacks i never knew that that's terrifying to think about that is absolutely terrifying i'm curious to know what's different actually it's 1am i don't think i'm gonna make it any further down what i should probably do is fill my inventory up with stuff that i could take back to the uh the chests at home because I've kind of accumulated a load of stuff I don't need up here. Right, that'll do it. And then we just wait. Rainbow Trout to eat or watch? <laughs> I mean, probably eat, right? Maybe not. Keep it as a pet. It is a very beautiful fish. Oh my god, this spearmint and this tastes incredible. I can't get over it. It's like my favourite part of it. I've drunk my fair share of like weird, not dodgy teas, but they just don't taste good teas. So when it, when anything has like a good flavour in it, I'm very excited about it. Fermented saliva. Excuse me. What? It, uh, that's nasty. That would- I couldn't- I couldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who or what? Like, who or what did that come from? You know, like, rainbow trout from mountain lakes. Wait, are they different? I thought a rainbow trout was a rainbow trout. I don't know much about wild fish. That- I mean, yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong, it sounds nasty. Right, first things first, I'm going to make my other chest. And that's going to be for cooking stuff. That's going to go inside. I've already done this. Okay, we're going to go back. <laughs> we're going to go put the stuff in the chest. I now have another chest to add to the collection. You're very lucky I found you last night. Thank you, Linus, for dragging me all the way home. So those are coming out. They're gonna go in here. There we go. It's also Pam's birthday today. I should have a gold star parsnip somewhere. No, I don't because I need it for quality crops. Even though I'm not gonna make it today, uh, this season, obviously. I'm never gonna get that many. It's also another good luck day. I always like, it's annoying when good luck days line up with like the wrong time. Like I really wanna be going around and getting berries today, but it's a good luck day and I should be in the mines. Why is saliva even offend nasty when... Coffee is technically made from poop. Ew. Well then, yeah, but like... Isn't like all vegetables in some way have interacted with poop, right? Because that's what it grows in, essentially. <laughs> It's horse saliva? How do they get that? Like, what? Alcohol, alcohol does kill stuff. There is that. This gameplay is without mods. It's, um... It's got UI Info Suite and the map, and that's about it, I think. And recolor. But no game-changing mods. Lipstick holds raw fish scales. That's kind of nasty, and I don't. I'm glad I don't wear lipstick. Oh, 
Oh, there's any Lumac coffee? I, I have heard about that. I think I watched a documentary about that coffee. The documentary you saw was in a tribe and it's human saliva. Oh my god, I could never drink that. Not because of like... Like... Surely there must be some, you know, issues surrounding that. Coffee beans are eaten and fermented by the birds, but then cleaned afterwards. Sounds gross, but you know, you can't hear because you're in a restaurant. I'm gonna wave at you, Jazz. <laughs> Good evening, if Emma says hi, please someone tell me. Oh, I waved at the camera for you. I hope you could see. At least it's natural rather than plastic toxins. Unless you've accidentally been ingesting microplastics. <laughs> the whole microplastics thing is also terrifying. Berries! This is true. Dairy is fluid from a mammal. <laughs> Microplastics have been found in fish blood. Yeah, they have. There's all there's microplastics in so many things. I think I saw someone put, like, cheese under a microscope once, and it had burger plastic in it. Burger plastic, microplastic. Why did I say burger plastic? <laughs> what? I think it was because I was thinking of burger cheese. Maybe I don't know. Spiralizers are great, I just, um, they're too much effort for me to want to clean after, so I don't use them. I had one once. I didn't keep it for very long. But I hope Jazz is doing good, even if she cannot hear me. Burger cheese is basically plastic, this is very true. I don't mind plastic cheese, but it's got to taste right, you know. It's a good, ah, uh, but berries, oh my god, what do I do? Do I go to the mines or do I, I focus on the berries because we'll have other good luck days, but we won't have other berry days. Not until fall, anyway. Why is this being mean to you? <laughs> oh, you're mostly vegan, right? That makes sense. And yeah, medications, very important. <laughs> Other vegans, do oh, that's the thing is like, it's difficult in that kind of world, isn't it? Obviously, some people are very passionate and that's great for them. But um, at the same time, it also alienates people of the same community, which is sad to me. You ordered a Georgie pie? What's a Georgie pie? <laughs> Cosmetic animal testing, heck no from me. Yeah, it's also very, it is very difficult with the medical ones. There's something about getting the salmon berries for the bushes that's very satisfying. I mean, it would be more satisfying if I could get multiple berries, but berries are berries, you know. Mints and cheese? Oh, that's not my kind of thing. I, we don't have that here. The only pie we can get from McDonald's is an apple pie. Gate gatekeeping, that's the word. Hi, Leah. You guys have weird McDonald's food? <laughs> Wait, we have weird Mc I think we just have a reduced range. We don't have quite as many things. Like, our McDonald's food is mainly, like, a few variations on some basic burgers. Obviously, we have the Big Mac, which isn't very big. Also, yeah, well, that was the thing. When we went to Florida, the Big Mac is actually big. In the UK, the Big Mac is not big. It's very, very small. It's probably about half the size. Um, we have chicken selects. I don't know if they're called the same thing there. Obviously, we have the chicken nuggets. Uh, we have a few different wraps. We don't have a huge variety at all.
Blueberries have, they do have a very satisfying sound, I agree. Where is Pam? Pam is in Georgia. We'll go give her the birthday parsnip. Ooh, look, trash. You have the Grand Big Mac. Oh yeah, we have the Grand Big Mac as well, but it's probably just the size of a regular Big Mac. <laughs> I said like a regular American Big Mac. That's what everyone was like laughing about when the Grand Mac came out here is they were like, all oh, right, so it's just the old Big Mac. We got rid of the chicken stuff and the rat. Oh, sad. They're like my favorite thing. I always get chicken selects from McDonald's. I do love a McFlurry also, but I'm a very ice cream person. I would happily dip my um, nuggets and chicken and stuff in my ice cream and my milkshake. Don't really get milkshakes very often because they give me almost an instant stomach ache. You never had a hamburger or a milkshake? Big sad. I hope you, uh, well, if you want to try one one day, I hope you do try one one day. Or oh, the Big Mac dog is confusing you. <laughs> no, there's, there's the Big Mac and there's the Grand Mac and then there's the real Mac and you are the real Mac. <laughs> McDonald's has really gone downhill. I miss what they had something before COVID and I can't remember what it was. I think one of the things I liked sometimes from there were the bagels you can get at breakfast time. They don't do bagels anymore. I'm just really glad they never got rid of pancakes because that's my favorite breakfast item from there. I really like the pancake and sausage meal. It's my honest favorite. I'm not doing very well with this money making thing, am I? Right, I'm gonna eat all the spring onions and carry on. There's the Mac Junior. Is it tiny? I bet the Mac Junior is the size of our regular Big Mac. <laughs> you just stick to not ever going to mcdonald's honestly yeah understandable we've not had one in a long time actually i don't really crave it that often we used to just get it because it was the fastest thing to arrive but we have a new favorite takeaway here that's a kebab shop and the food takes a little longer but it's freaking worth it it's so good their food <gasps> diamond i want that getting distracted when there are monsters coming at me It takes like 10 hits to get a diamond open. The menu is so confusing. I do love a Starbucks, I'm gonna be honest. Chicken burger is the only half decent thing. Do you mean like the McChicken sandwich? I like that. It's a good sandwich. Wait, kiwi smoothie. Wait, who has a kiwi? They got a kiwi s Wait, what? <laughs> That's a thing? That's not a thing here. You prefer Tim Hortons over Starbucks? I agree, but Tim Hortons is very expensive. That is the only thing. Like, I love their stuff, but it's pricey. I'm gonna sell these frozen tears because I've already got. Um, I am gonna bother to go get the coal. Oh, it's Switzerland. They have a smoothie bar? That's wild. Oh, McDonald's is so boring. Timmy's here is so cheap. I'm so jealous, Will, and it's so expensive here. I do love them, though. They're starting to pop up all over the place in the UK now. I'm, the, the one I'm waiting for is when Wendy's becomes mainstream here because that's what they're planning to do. When, I'm so excited about Wendy's. I have no idea when they're going to have one. We're going to have one, but... Probably be a long time. Timmy's isn't that expensive. I feel like it's like at least a... 
or more or whatever, but the food is also very expensive. The food is very good, but in comparison to like what you'd get from McDonald's or whatever, for example. Epics, hello! Studying for your FM stats. Ooh, gosh, that sounds like a nightmare. Well, I hope it goes well, and thank you for stopping by and saying hi. There's a Taco Bell in town. Legit the lowest rate of takeaway in the city, so you won't try it. I personally really like Taco Bell. Um, They're very, very uh, inexpensive also. Seven gold from that? That's painful. Uh, what do I get on this one? I'm going to come back and get the reward in a minute once I've emptied my inventory. Let's melt some more iron. Oh, it was further ma further maths. I didn't I didn't do well in that subject at all. I'm going to throw away the crystal dagger because I think it's significantly worse. Um yeah, I did further maths at I only did the AS for that, I didn't do the actual full A level because um, I didn't like it. <laughs> so it was funny, the entire year, I only did it for first year, the entire year, I think it was, what was wild is that there was probably about 25 people in this class, four of us were female, four of us were women. Um, and the teacher was quite sexist. If I'm being honest, he barely ever helped us. Like, if any of the guys needed help, jump straight on it. If we needed help, no. Just no. Um, so I was getting D's and E's all year, which was rough. Even though I was like trying my best and whatever. And it got towards the end of the year and I had a friend who was in a different further maths class with a different teacher who was doing significantly better. So he helped me study for the final exam. And I'm trying to figure out what I need. So he helped me f study for the final exam. And he came, oh my god, nine months. Let's not forget to like the stream. Yes, thank you for the reminder, mate. Anyone who hasn't maybe liked the stream yet, please do so. It does help us out a lot. Nine months already is wild. Uh, Yeah, so end of the year, he comes to me, results day, and he's like, Oh my god, how did you do? And I was like... I, I didn't do great, but I didn't do terrible. And he was like, oh, did you fail too? And I was like, you failed? I got a C. The person who helped me study, who was getting good grades all year, failed and I got a C. <laughs> how did that happen? You had 13 at the start and now you only have 11. You lost the only girl in that class? Wow. Yike. You did technical graphics as the only girl for three years. Thankfully, the teacher was grand and treated you the same. See, like, the, the horrible teachers are very few and far between, but the ones that exist suck. What do I get rid of here? This is a problem. Can I just sell the geode? I'm just going to sell the geode. So I'm going to pick up the frozen data. What we probably should have done is put it on the floor and then picked it up again. That's okay, though. Some people don't test. Well, they did good on their other things. Like, they got into a really good university and stuff. But, yeah, I didn't carry it on for second year because if it wasn't going to get me an A or a B, I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> I switched it out for um, accelerated business studies. You have some you don't care about, but none that are bad. Yeah, that's a good way to be. Like, at least then there's no one particularly bad. I also remember in my biology exam, I got my first ever nosebleed, which was a bit scary. <laughs> I like bled on the test paper, it was a little bit embarrassing. Masters in English, nice. I only stopped at my bachelor's, but um, I was satisfied. I couldn't really, at the time, there wasn't the same format of student loans as we have now for um, masters, so I didn't do one. But apparently my dissertation tutor said if I really wanted to, I could have done 
a PhD if I just carried on studying the thing that I did for my dissertation. Now, I really want to break those things open. But... No, let's do it, because I can just sell some of the stuff if I don't want it. What subjects did I take for A-levels? Um, I took... For the second year, I went for biology, chemistry, uh, maths, economics, and accelerated business studies. But I ended up... The accelerated business studies was two lunch time. I kid you not. Two lunch times a week. And I got to the AS level and I was like, nah, I'm done. I wanted to like really focus my efforts on the other ones. And then I ended up studying economics at university. Hanging out a bit to use a hairbrush as a pillow. Kramer was in like the weirdest. He just had like one leg hanging out of his little um, basket bed earlier. It was so strange. Oh, I should have gone. Right, I'm gonna go. Let's see if, if we get loads of freebies, then I'm gonna go for it. But oh, it's 1 a.m. All right. We just carry on then. Oh. <gasps> Dwarf scroll, we want that. What am I gonna do? Um. Um. Stone. Yeah, I need that. Cats are weird, I love it. Couldn't focus on college because you've got ADHD, so it wasn't worth uh, paying for you. That makes sense. I think I was just like, because I enjoyed the subject, for me, that helped a lot. Because... Like, the way I work with, um, my, like, videos and stuff, obviously, like, a lot of it is the hyper-focus that kicks in. I think I've already got an aquamarine, so I'm gonna go ahead and just sell that one. The hyper-focus, like, helps me, so because I could get that with my subject, I did, like, decently well in it. You spent most of your maths class doodling because you couldn't focus on the subject. The only thing was, is because my university was so flexible, so like, the lectures for us were optional, but the seminars you had to go to, so the difference, if you don't know, is like, the lectures are like, the big one with the whole course, where you have a professor standing at the front and they're just basically talking at you. <laughs> the seminars are more interactive and you do more hands-on work with the subject and stuff. Those they took attendance, so I had to go to. But um, the, the lectures I mostly didn't go to, unless I like really got along with the teaching style of the lecturer, of the professor, I didn't go to the lectures because I could learn it better myself at home. Not being able to do education because of funding is so dumb. It, I completely agree with you because I wouldn't have been able to do my course if I didn't have the student loans that I did. And the student loans in the UK don't break you at all. Like they work a little bit differently. They only you only have to pay them if you earn over a certain amount of money, and even then it's not very much. Like, and then after 30 years it's written off. So like they kind of like they go into it knowing the majority of people aren't gonna um pay off their student loan ever. Oh, there's the cauliflower quest from Jody. We're gonna go ahead and get that money. And I think what I'm going to do is actually sacrifice... Oh no, I don't need to sacrifice forage. I've got a spot there. Yeah, the way the US does it is painful. Like, all the parents having to basically break themselves to get their kid to, like, just afford to go to uni. I still had, like, the level of funding I was at, I still had to work for my second and third year as well. Um, but I didn't need a huge amount of money to work for. And I was lucky that, like, my rent was reasonably priced. <laughs> student loan is actually a graduate tax. Yeah, that is the best way to describe it. I hope the studying goes well, though. That is, I, I wish you luck because I know the pain. Um, although if you're in second year, I don't know the pain. I couldn't possibly imagine the pain. <laughs> I think mechanics was my worst module in that.
Math was mind lumberly boring. Yeah, I get that. I did the worst in economics. I did the worst in the subjects that had the most maths in it. Gonna be honest. Skeggy, hello. Um, I am just getting my plants and stuff watered. I gotta go check the traveling merchant in a minute and. Uh, Probably gonna go and try and give Caroline a gift today because we really want those tea saplings. Where am I with her friendship? We're in a heart and a half, so we're not doing too badly. Because I still think tea saplings are gonna be a good viable option for us. I need as much money as I can. Maybe we go and donate stuff to the museum today too. I think I'm gonna take a break from mining today. Um, Is there anything else I like desperately need? I'm gonna put a couple of cave carrots inside for cooking. I don't know how many exactly I need. Two is a good start, right? <laughs> so what can I leave here? I don't need this stuff. Um, I've got a load of geodes. I could just sell them. But then I kind of want to do the museum collection too. Hmm. I'm going to move all my mining stuff to another chest as well because I'm getting confused with it being in here because I never have it like this. Let's go see the merchant. Two or three needed. All right, I'll just put one more in the chest and then that's safe. I, um, I th the uni I went to prided itself on the amount of international students we had. I think there were more international students than non-international students. How long have I been playing Stardew? Um, I've been playing properly, like, days-wise for, like, just over a year. Oh, there's wool and I can't afford it. That's so annoying. But, oh, coconut. Do I need that? I don't think I've got exotic foraging. Oh, that's the pantry. That's the fish tank. Oh, I do. I need that. Okay. Um... Just checking if there's nothing else that I desperately need. I'm gonna go for the coconut though. That's a good price coconut as well. What else was I saying? Yeah, but time went so on Steam I've got like 800 hours. Um on but I've only been playing for like just over a year. You wanna be a software engineer but you don't know yet? I just realized I forgot to get Caroline a gift. I hope you go for it. It's a good uh, good little profession to be in that. But all I'm going to say is like to anyone doing schooling and stuff when you're thinking about jobs, think about the job that you want to do and the thing that you want to study. Don't like, I know it's not always possible, but don't let anyone else tell you what you should be doing. Uh. Three or four bushes to my right near the cave. Wait, bushes? I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna put all the cave carrots I currently have in the chest inside. I also need to ship one. Maybe we also ship one. Don't pressure kids into uni if it's not right for them. Exactly. You regret nothing more than following their advice. It was just funny, like, cause I also fell into a job, like genuinely fell into a job in a bank and it, my entire uni life, I was saying to myself, I really don't want to work in a bank. I'm never going to work in a bank. I'm not going to work in a bank. I worked in a bank for <laughs> six, seven years. <laughs> and um, yeah, no, I was like, I, I did have like a creative side, but I wasn't uh, able to put any of it to good use. And I really wish I did this earlier, you know. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I'm happy that the way that my channel has come the way it has. Like, I'm grateful for it, but I could have been doing stuff so much earlier. Right, cauliflower for Jody. Gift for... Have I done the cauliflower? No, I haven't. Right, there's the cauliflower. And then gift for Jody. A gift for... There we go. <laughs> My brain just failed. Doing YouTube takes time to succeed and completely agree. There's a lot of skill to learn with it, you know? 
You worked at a bank for a few months, half the time people in line asked you if you could have a coffee because Starbucks was next door. Were you just a coffee runner? That's sad. What's the time for me? Uh, 8 p.m. Oh my god, we've been streaming for two hours already. Hello? What's happened to time tonight? Rika, I keep accepting the quests and just not doing them. <laughs> Whoopsie. I really need to be doing this. Oh. Is this the um, Morris cutscene thing? I'm just going to skip it. 6 a.m. Oh my goodness. Time flies when you're having fun. Very true. What am I doing? I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I don't need you, Pierre. I'm here with a, a gift for Caroline. Oh no, is Caroline in her tea room? Damn it. Okay, I'm just going to wait until she comes out. Someone said he wins the race and you work with the banks, but not for them. Yeah, I worked with the same bank for that amount of time. And then I got made redundant, like, a year ago. Which is wild that it's been a year. Uh, That's for you. And where are we at now? So close, like, painfully close. Maybe by the end of the stream we'll have tea saplings. You haven't slept yet? Oh my god, please sleep. Sleep is important. Sleep is good. I mean, don't get me wrong, my job was really interesting. Um, it was just uh, a lot, <laughs> to put it plainly. Go find Jody next. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't necessarily regret having worked for them as such, but at the same time, I should have... Like, I didn't belong, you know? <laughs> when do I get the tea saplings? Um, so, Caroline gives you the recipe in the mail the day after you see the cutscene with her. And to get the cutscene, you need two hearts of friendship with her. So I'm trying to get her up to two hearts as quickly as possible. Where is Jodie? Is Jodie in... Yep, Georgia. You wake up at three, it's fine. Oh no. That sounds like a messed up sleep schedule. <laughs> The tea sapling sell for a lot of money, so it's very much worth it. Here you go. But I have, like, no money. Pain. I'm gonna go pop up to the mines. I'll go via the community centre, and then I'm gonna come back down again to the museum. Just get some stuff donated. Because once I've donated stuff, I don't really need the gems for much else, and I don't have to worry about them anymore. I can just start selling them. I really need the money. Maybe I need to really capitalise on the board quests. And yes, she does indeed teleport there. I really just came all the way to the community centre just to do one single coconut, didn't I? Can I make tapas yet? I can. I should be doing that soon. You've done customer service, fast food, home construction, farming with hay, animals and orchards, HVAC, I don't know what that means. And a couple of other things, you never find something that clicks with you though. You'll find your thing one day. I've done customer service. Um, I was also... My, the, the one job that I enjoyed probably one of the most was um, being a student ambassador at my uni. So you get to basically go and help with events and stuff. And um, <clears throat> give people tours of the campus and that was really fun. But my god, I, I don't know how I used to do it because... I think I remember there was a day, an open day that I did, that um, I walked about 40,000 steps. That's not an exaggeration. And at the end of that day, I sprained my ankle. <laughs> that was fun. But <laughs> I did really like the job. Anything else to donate that? Oh, I've got two of those dwarf scrolls. That's kind of annoying. All right, let's go and donate all this stuff. Maybe we get some stuff smelting whilst we're here. Get a bit more iron on the go. You done retail and you're done. Nobody expects you to get a job because you're disabled. Yeah, it, retail is not, not fun. I mean, I say that, I didn't mind. The last retail job I have, I didn't mind. Um, but my health got in the way and obviously things started getting better with YouTube, so. I capitalised on that, really. But 
I basically went, like went into a chronic fatigue. The thing is, like, I didn't mind doing retail like at all. The job I had around summertime, I didn't like very much. Um, it was basically doing, you know, like at the end of a day when food is about to go out of date, like that day or the next day, and you have to reduce the price of it. It was doing that, and it was very, very stressful, and um, a lot. And I had that for a couple of months and then I went to work for a different, like a clothing store instead. Um, and then I had a chronic fatigue crash and my body was like, no, stop it. So I did. Um, it's just annoying. It was annoying that like my body was becoming not compatible with doing that kind of stuff anymore. Hey, we've got seeds for next month. And I, I can't plant those. That's so annoying. I'm so sad that I can't plant these anymore. How much would I reclaim? I don't know. No, I need to keep them for next year. I do. I have chronic fatigue syndrome. So it's funny because I keep getting asked how I am and almost every stream I start with, I'm feeling sleepy today. And I'm like, yeah, well, duh. <laughs> I'm really glad that that's all they've like given you to do in the end. I think the worst I ever had was, um, there was a situation once I had with them um, quite a long time back where I had a job offer lined up but it was a necessity for me to like get some money in between because obviously it's a long time till you actually get paid once you start a job. Um, and they were like, yeah keep looking for, like they, they made me still basically commit full time amount of time to still looking for another job even though I was starting a job like the week after. You already might have CFS too. It's a very hard thing to get diagnosed. And a lot of people, like, a lot of even medical professionals still don't take it seriously nowadays, which sucks. Um, what am I doing with my life right now? I think I'm gonna... What, what have I got to do here? Right, let's go catch some chub. Go catch some chub for Willy. We need. Need the money. But the, yeah, my first ever crash was when we basically got it diagnosed because I was probably, there was times where I was sleeping for like 15 hours a day um, on the worst days and 12 on the not worst days and then just feeling rubbish the entire time. And it was just funny to me that like, I started to get better over time, but after I had to do uh, graded exercise therapy, they basically said, no, stop doing that. That's really harmful. <laughs> like after my course of that finished and it wasn't really helping all that much. <laughs> Joseph, I had, hope you have a good rest of your day. You have insomnia, that's rough. I struggle without my sleep. It can also be burnout. Burnout doesn't um, help at all. I have days where I like really do struggle to stay awake. I had a day the other day where I was, I literally was like, I was editing and stuff, so it's fine. But this chair is really comfortable, so it helped me. But I was struggling to like stay upright, so I just had to like make sure I was against my backrest because it was very uncomfortable. But before we get into that point, it was um. It took a long time to get that diagnosis too because they had to do a whole bunch of blood tests. They had to make sure it wasn't just my anxiety and depression causing me to be tired. Um, and then they had to... Also, I had a vitamin D deficiency at the time, so they had to correct that. That took six months on its own. <laughs> Don't get a vitamin D deficiency, peeps. Actually, I should probably get some supplements again. I haven't had them in a while. Bit of a yikes. Can we still catch chubs at night? You can, right? I'll check in a minute. Actually, no, I can't. Can't check because I don't have a look up anything. My polar also rough. But that <laughs> some of the, what was um one of my issues with the ADHD as well was like if I didn't have enough attention, sometimes I I could sleep. Chubs are all day, okay, thank you. There isn't cure, but there's managing it. 
So it's just trying to figure out in your lifestyle what you can pace with and adjusting what you do each day to accommodate for the fact that like, you know, the whole thing with like spoon theory, for example, is just making sure you don't use them all up each day and cause a crash. Um, it's actually one of the things I'm grateful for, like, Michael really does keep an eye on me with that kind of stuff and it's just like, you aren't doing too much, are you? Like, stopped me from going into crashes half the time. I think it's Chubbs. I did hear the ding though. Oh, it's Carp. I'm so dumb. You are so right. <laughs> Thank you for that. You wake up too early needing the toilet, you just get up because you can't be bothered to do that many transfers. <laughs> that does suck. We got the line is cutscene. Are you able to like nap in your chair at all? Like, does that help sometimes? It's England, but hotter. So you get a lot of rain and stuff. I've heard good things about Tasmania. Oh, you turned up at the ripe moment, miss. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off the raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks, make sure you can give them a good scare so they never come back. Poor Linus. You can, but you prefer not to, fair enough. England, but hotter sounds silly. I mean, I get that though. Like, weather wise, right? I find a lot of hot and fresh foods in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong? No, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Thanks, Emma. I knew you were an open minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. Exactly. I'm glad you seem to be managing okay, but, uh, Epic. Every season but summer, but it can be more cloudy than anything else, that makes sense. Struggle with energy because thyroid issues, that's rough. I think that, that was the thing that messed me up recently, I think, is because I had one good day, I've not had that in years, and um, I forgot what that felt like and then it made the normal days feel worse because it was worse than that good day. You know what I mean? Like, if you've... If you've had it before, you kind of know what I mean. Would you like some zucchini fritters? Linus is great. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters just for you. I actually really want to try them. I'm sad they're not a thing in the um, Stardew Valley cookbook though. Yeah, just trying to get by each day, you know. <laughs> but um, that's why I've been grateful for this is that like I've been able to make this my job and pour my energy, like the energy that I can use into something that I, I mean, I don't find this exhausting, you know, but like, finding something that's compatible with my body. 25 max. That sounds ideal. <laughs> Gotta be up at seven in time for stuff like the carpenters. Oh my god, the start of the floors, I'm excited for you. I forgot to go to Willie. Am I too late? No, I can probably make the town again. That distraction. I've been sleeping at a decent time recently. But I'm trying to like, I used to be setting an alarm all the time and now I don't. I just, um, I'm starting to allow my body to just get up. Because I was trying to say like, no, I need to be productive at these hours. And then I'm just like, why am I doing this to myself? You know, I make my hours, nobody else. Right, uh, get out of my way. Hi, thank you. I know I don't get very much for these fish, but I, I will take any gold I can get. I don't think I'm done with Clint's yet, am I? I probably should have focused on Clint's really because 320 gold is a lot and it's too late to do it now. Sometimes a fresh pair of eyes helps when it comes to that kind of stuff. It's 
It's also you have to think about the price of the medication. Like, I feel really fortunate here that my medication, no matter what it is, is always the same price. With the good old uh, NHS. I actually, like, I set an alarm on my phone for the first time that actually went off today and, um... It reminded me to order my meds and that's the first time I've actually remembered to order them on time. Because <laughs> since, so before, before COVID, I used to have it so that my pharmacy would automatically order my meds for me and I'd just get a text to be like, come pick your meds up. Um, but haven't had that since and the pharmacies around here don't do that. So I have to do it myself and that doesn't really mix well with ADHD. I was usually paid for by insurance, but this one's not technically approved. Oh, that makes sense and also sucks at the same time. But um, yeah, I think that's where we're going to leave the stream for the day because I've started getting really hungry and I'm about to get the hungry shakes if I don't eat something immediately. So um, I need to go, but if you haven't already, I'd love if you can like the stream. It does help us out a lot. I've had a really lovely time chatting with you guys as usual. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night, um, whatever you're doing, whatever time it is for you. And eat a sandwich, yes, I guess. Um, yeah, I see you guys next time. Actually, we've got another stream coming up on Friday. There should be also a bonus video which will be available for blueberries and cranberries tonight and everyone else will be available tomorrow. And I'll see you guys Friday. Bye!